I don't know, True's getting older and I just feel like it's now time to have another kid. Yep. Mm-hmm. I like to hear. Tristan Thompson's dating life has made headlines over the years and not only because of his high profile relationship with Khloe Kardashian. The athlete dated Jordan Craig from 2014 until 2016. Following their split, Craig discovered she was expecting a child. The exes welcomed their son Prince in December of 2016. But by then, the professional basketball player had already moved on with Khloe Kardashian in September of 2016, announcing in December of 2017 that Khloe was pregnant. Days before Khloe was due to give birth to their daughter, Thompson was unfaithful to her with multiple women. While Kardashian and Thompson eventually got back together following their daughter True's arrival in April 2018, the duo split a year later when it was revealed that Tristan had hooked up with her younger sister Kylie Jenner's ex-best friend, Jordan Woods. And that's just the intro. We have plenty more to get through. What's up guys and girls, my name is Kara the Vampire Slayer and welcome back to Famous Entertainment. For today, we'll be taking a break from house tours to bring back an old series titled Secret Exes. You guys name a celebrity and I will dig up their dating history. As always, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. Now let's get into it. During the 2020 pandemic, Chloe and Tristan reunited and were back together isolating while co-parenting their daughter. But then in June of this year, Chloe and Tristan ended their romance once again after previously talking about plans for another baby. So it looks like your boy Tristan is back on playing both the field and the basketball court, one could say. While he does his thing, let's take a look back at the ladies he's been linked to in the past. First, there's Jordan Craig. These days, Jordan is a social media influencer and lifestyle blogger who has her own website where she promotes healthy living and style. Tristan and Jordan met in 2014 and dated for two years before welcoming their son Prince in December 2016, which happened following the pair having been broken up. As exes do, the pair ended up in a child support battle with Jordan claiming that Tristan only saw their son nine times from December 2016 to November 2018. The pair reached an agreement regarding child support with the NBA pro agreeing to pay $40,000 to his ex-girlfriend per month. He was also ordered to give Jordan $200,000 in retroactive child support. I'm happy she's being taken care of. 40K will buy her a lot of diapers and likely some Prada, Chanel, and Louis Vuitton as well. Good for you, girl. Next up, we have Larsa Pippen, a lady who, although many say belongs to the streets, is someone I've actually done a house tour on, so she does in fact have a home. Larsa Pippen revealed that she was briefly linked to Tristan before his relationship with Chloe had started. She stated on the Hollywood Raw podcast, I was kind of seeing Tristan before Chloe, before Chloe or any of the Kardashians knew he existed. I was seeing him, I had him come to LA, I brought him to a party Kim Kardashian had. I introduced him to all of them. Larsa explained that the athlete and Chloe started dating about 10 days later, but made it clear that she didn't mind. From what I've been told, she's got plenty of men on the go herself. Of course, we have to talk about his main squeeze, Khloe Kardashian herself. The duo sparked dating rumors in September of 2016 and announced they were expecting a daughter one year later. Khloe and Thompson continued to have an on and off romance over the years, following multiple cases of infidelity on the athlete's side. This became drama on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, and of course, millions of viewers and fans felt sincere sympathy for the new mom. The couple officially broke up in February 2019, but then got back together in August 2020. On the Keeping Up With The Kardashian reunion show, Khloe had this to say. I just have to trust, I just need to focus on today and go day by day. I can't worry too much about everything else. Unfortunately, that trust didn't last long and days after the reunion episode aired, the pair called it quits again. Before Chloe and Tristan would get back together in 2018, he was accused of cheating on Chloe while she was pregnant with their daughter with model Lanny Blair. Just days before Chloe went into labor, footage leaked online that showed Tristan kissing Lanny at a rooftop bar in New York before being photographed going to a hotel with her. A witness added, they were holding each other and it was so obvious. Everybody knew who he was. We talked about it and everybody watched them make out several times. I mean, if that's not enough, next up is Jordan Woods, which was one of the biggest celebrity cheating scandals in recent years. 
In February of 2019, the news broke that Tristan and Jordan were seen kissing at a party. Damn, bringing this man to Hollywood was like letting a coyote into a stable. Jordan had long been best friends with Chloe's younger sister Kylie Jenner, and they still were best friends at the time the story broke. Clearly, Jordan's alleged fling with Tristan made headline news. It was first reported the pair had kissed, slept together, and even engaged in a month-long relationship, which Woods eventually denied most of. Jordan did confirm, however, that she attended an after party at Tristan's house before claiming he kissed her as she was leaving in the early morning. She later took a lie detector test to prove she didn't sleep with him and the test confirmed that was the truth. However, this did result in Tristan and Chloe having a very public breakup. Jordan had this to say during a September 2020 interview on the Now with Natalie on YouTube. It's easy to beat yourself up over things you could have done differently, but you can't hold on to what you could have or should have done. You just have to accept what actually happened and then you can let it go. I think that letting go of shame is learning how to accept what's happened. It's believed that Chloe and Jordan are on okay terms, but they no longer talk and Jordan has become noticeably missing hanging with Kylie or at any recent Kardashian events. Go figure. Then we have Charisma Ramirez. Following his split from Chloe in 2019, Thompson was spotted with Charisma Ramirez several times in New York City. The pair were first spotted together in February 2019 and later had dinner together in March 2019. By the sounds of it, Charisma is a former waitress turned influencer. Finally, model Sydney Chase claims she began hooking up with Tristan at the end of 2020 and into the new year, also adding that he told her he was single, which would have been a lie since he was supposed to be back with Chloe then. She clarified her comments again in a TikTok video and claimed she last heard from Tristan the day after Chloe threw a party for their daughter True. Either way, that was still a little while ago, so who knows where or who he's been hanging with since. Tristan is actually a Toronto boy, which is where we film these. So ladies, if I see him out and about with anyone, I'll be sure to update this video. That wraps it up for this secret exes video, but if you want to see more of these, let me know whose dating history we should expose next. Be sure to give me a follow over on Instagram. My handle is Kara the Vampire Slayer, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll catch you all in another video. Bye!